Well, welcome back to Tech Garage, brought to you by rockauto.com. We're Don in the lab coats, and that can only mean one thing, Garage Ed. Today, we're talking about a word that's very difficult to spell, EGR. Remember the old exhaust gas recirculation valves of days of old? Well, it's been replaced with variable valve timing technology. And in true Tech Garage fashion, we've got that set up right here in the Infinity. We also have a twin engine out here outside the Infinity, so we can take you in and show you how that whole thing really works. John's going to tell us what this system is all about. Brian, not only can I spell exhaust gas recirculation, EGR, I can tell you what it does and show you how it works. So check out this graphic right here. EGR actually takes exhaust gases and it reroutes it back into the intake so it can go into the cylinders. Now, why would we want to do that? Well, we want to reduce cylinder temperatures. It's inert gas. It goes in there. It doesn't burn. It kind of creates a misfire. The fuel actually cools cylinder temperatures and reduces NOx, oxides and nitrogen. Well, I have some EGR valves that show you how they used to work. Brian called them old school. Yeah, they are, but they're still in operation today. So check this one out. This one's a vacuum actuated EGR valve. I got the pump right here hooked up to it. And of course we cut it away in tech garage fashion. So you can actually see the pintle. The car would actually energize a solenoid, allowing vacuum to go to this. And then what's happening once that pintle opens up, guess what? The exhaust gas goes into the intake manifold. Bam, reducing those temperatures and reducing NOx. Now Ford, they like to incorporate everything into one. It's a vacuum actuated one, but it has its actual pressure valve right here and the solenoid to let the vacuum happen. Well, from there we went digital. We went to the digital EGR. That one's located right here and there's three solenoids on here. Think about it, 33, 66, 99. He can open up one at a time and let a little bit of EGR or a lot of EGR go into the car. And I can demonstrate that for you as well. I got it hooked up here and I clicked that. You see the solenoids so the computer would be ground in that and that's what it does open those passages and when it opens those passages bam exhaust gas into the intake reducing NOx then we went to the actual linear one this one here could go in steps 1% 2% we started to get accurate we got it down well once we did that we did without it Brian was talking about the variable valve timing and that's what's happening over there on an M45 it's actually varying the camshafts and holding that exhaust gas in the cylinder to reduce NOx but you know what? Better yet, Brian's going to show us all about it. Well, this is some of my favorite vehicle technology right here, variable valve timing. So if we pull this cover off, I've got all the bolts out so you can get a look at it. Here's what's going on. We've got oil pressure that comes in behind the cover. Oil shoots in here and allows it to adjust the camshaft or phase that camshaft. More about that in a second. You remember a few weeks ago we talked about the camshaft position sensor. What's it watching? These teeth, which are predestined right on the end of the camshaft, it knows where they are in space and that's what it's monitoring. A lot going on behind that cover. So when we adjust the camshaft, don't forget we're trying to keep the exhaust gases in the combustion chamber for longer. To do that, you've got to keep the exhaust valve closed longer. So to phase or adjust the camshaft, you're advancing or retarding the timing and that's what that looks like. That's all done with oil pressure and it's really cool how it works. And it puts a little more pressure on you and me to keep the right oil clean in our engines so all of this can work properly. Well, pretty cool stuff, but John and Tom have even more tech tips for you. Tom, we looked at a vacuum, we looked at a digital, we looked at a linear EGR valve. Today they don't even have EGR valves, but they got complex through the years. I got an older car, I still wanna keep it running. Right, yeah, parts like that, it, it, towards the end there, it was looking really complex, really expensive. Maybe those won't be around anymore. The neat thing about rockauto.com is we have customers scattered all over the place. Th th those vehicles are still out there somewhere, so it's practical for us to keep stocking the parts. They'll, they'll be available indefinitely. And, and we don't, it's not dealer only prices, it's, it's realistic, reliably low prices. So here's an example of a 2004 Ford Explorer, the scary looking EGR valve, but we've got, uh, Four different manufacturers, info pages with nice pictures so you can make sure you're getting the right gizmo to fix your car. Yeah, and Ford was real good about that. They actually integrated everything into it, the Tefifi valve and everything, so no misdiagnosis, but it's not that complex, and you can get it at rockauto.com. Check them out online. Well, let's go over and see what's happening. We're finishing up today's show.